G'day guys, you're with Dan and welcome back to our Facebook page and our channel. We're on a, uh, we're at a property in South Caboolture today doing a top dressing of a lawn here. Um, the lawn's actually been driven on by a truck, go figure. Um, not the customer's truck, nothing to do with the customer apparently. Someone drove a truck on it and uh, damaged it very badly. It's uneven, it's got some ant mounds in it. Uh, so what we're doing is we're top dressing it. Part of that top dressing process, which I'll explain separately in just a moment, is aeration. Now, <clears throat> we've gone this morning and hired an aerator, and we're gonna use it to aerate this um, lovely lawn. It is a lovely lawn, it's very green. It's got some lawn weeds in it. But other than that, it's, it's in pretty good shape. Why are we aerating? prior to top dressing. Grass needs air around its roots. Now when you look at a soil, sometimes when you're holding a handful of soil or if you look at a cutting of a soil profile, you don't necessarily look at it and think that there's a heck of a lot of air in there. But as far as the requirements of plants are concerned, there is actually, uh, depending on the conditions in the soil, a tremendous lot of air flow. Uh, and with that, a lot of water flow and a lot of nutrient flow in and around the root systems of plants. Now when soil gets compacted, uh, that means that the soil slumps, the particles, the, the fines, the silts, the clays, they all come together and bind up. And that means that roots aren't able to penetrate those individual soil heads or clods. Or, um, you know, I'll try and use a few less scientific terms where I can. Um, and that means that the, the fine, the ultra fine roots of plants, and, and particularly your lawn, in this case, aren't able to penetrate the soil to extract from it the water, oxygen, and nutrients that it needs because that soil has collapsed. So the process of aeration is to cut a series of what they call plugs, and they're about that long, about five inches long. You're putting these. Uh, well, I'll give you a look at the back of the machine in just a moment. But at the back of the machine is a roller, a series of conical sort of tubes that go down into the soil, they cut a plug, and then they bring that plug of soil up to the top and leave it on top. And what that does is it creates a cylinder or a shaft down into your soil, right beneath your root system, that enables uh, water and nutrients to then um, percolate down into your soil and be available to the root system of your plants or in this case your lawn. The reason why this is an important step when top dressing your lawn is that plants also breathe through their foliage and when you're top dressing a lawn to improve its condition in the sense of its evenness, its vigour, its uh, you know making sure it's nice and level and homogeneous and if you've got particularly if you've got low points uh, you want to fill those in so that you can get a nice even cut every time you mow it. Um, you know, and you can have that rich, retired white man lawn. Um, so when you're covering a grass with that top dressing process, you're taking away some of your grass's ability to breathe. And that's where your aeration comes into it as well. You're giving the grass more capacity to breathe air to aid its growth, to deal with the fact that you're burying it, basically. Um, <clears throat> so that's what that aeration process is about. The next video I'll put up, um, it'll be a reel, basically, um, you know, where you, to give you an idea of how the aeration process works. Um, if you're a visual person like I am, you'll be able to look at it and go, ah, that makes sense, I need to do that. Um, secondly, another thing that I think is important to discuss at this junction is the axiom or the purpose of the videos that we produce here at Dan Most Best. The reason why we produce the videos that we produce, yes, okay, it's, it's important that you understand the processes and the services that we provide and to convey a sense of competence on our part and value. That's, that's, that's our biggest, that's our biggest, eth that, that's our ethos, is that when someone engages us to do a job, if I don't have an answer for a question, I say, I don't know, but I'll find out. Um, I try my best to be able to answer people's questions on the spot. If I don't have an answer, I'm not gonna make something up just so I've still got something to say. 
Secondly, um, if you if you're you know it has been posed to me, why do you put this information in your videos? Why are you telling your customers how to do something that they should be paying you to do? You know, you guys, you know, there's a lot of intelligent people out there. Um, air running a lawn's not complex. You could go and rent this machine. Um, this one's from Master Hire. You could rent this from Master Hire and you could aerate your own lawn based with some of the information that I've armed you with in this video. Um, and if you're going to do that and save the money that you would otherwise be spending on paying someone like myself to do it for you, then more power to you. That's great. Get into your garden. Um, but as I said, the axiom of my videos is to convey to you that we know what we're on about. Um, we do our best to provide a great service. And um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, the next video will be a reel of me using the aerator on this lawn. Thanks very much.